All right, hello, doers. At Stealthy Wood, we subcontract some of our manufacturing operations to bolster production without having to invest in expensive machines or staff. We're broke. So, letting subcontractors handle some of our production allows us to focus on other tasks. Now, today I'm going to give you the 411 on drop shipping, which is a method retailers or manufacturers can use to sell goods to customers without receiving, storing, or shipping the items themselves. Now, by ordering directly from subcontractors or suppliers, our company can have products shipped directly to the customer. Drop shipping is a convenient way to free up inventory space and avoid costs associated with handling and storage. Now, with just a few clicks, we can configure a drop shipping route so that we never have to physically manage raw materials or finished products. Now, in today's example, we're going to configure two kinds of drop ships. First, we'll order raw materials to be sent directly from the vendor to the subcontractor. Then, once the subcontractor finishes manufacturing, they will deliver the finished product to the customer. Now, this means the raw materials and finished products never enter our warehouse. So, let's get this drop shipping party started. All right, Odur, so first things first, we need to make sure subcontracting is activated in the manufacturing app setting. So, configuration, settings. Scroll down. Actually, in this case, it's right there. Subcontracting is checked off. Now up next, we also want to make sure if we check under purchase and at the very bottom over here, that drop shipping is also checked off over there. We need both of them. Now let's go to the bill of materials for our example product, the stealthy wood lamp. So in our case, we're going to go to products, bill of materials, stealthy wood lamp. All right. We need to check a few things. We need to first make sure that the bomb type is set to subcontracting and that we have at least one subcontractor listed. Now, next, we need to ensure that our components are set up properly. So we're going to select one of them just to check it out using the internal link. We go to the inventory tab. You want to make sure that this dropship subcontractor on order is selected over here. Now, this is essentially just so that we have it activated for the route. We also have to designate a vendor over here under the purchase uh, tab, which is basically going to be awesome vendor. Now. Essentially, what we also see here is a delivery lead time. Now, this is the time it takes for the vendor to deliver the components to the subcontractor. Here, we can see that our vendor will take four days to get everything to our subcontractor. Now, I've already set up the same vendor and delivery lead time for the rest of the components. So let's go back to our breadcrumbs. Now, we actually have to make sure that the actual product is set up properly. So we will also go over here to inventory for it. And inside of the inventory tab, we need to make sure that dropship is selected and we also need to ensure that the lead times are properly configured in our case let's say it takes six days for the subcontractor to manufacture the final product that's the manufacturing lead time you see over here but the customer lead time itself is 12 days over here and that is the number of days it takes for the customer to receive the product after they place the order we know that it takes four days for the subcontractor to receive the components and six days for them to manufacture the lamp we also know it will take an additional two days to ship the lamp to the customer. Added together, by basic math, that's 12 days right there for the customer lead time. Now, finally, we need to go over here to the Purchase tab and make sure that our subcontractor is set as the vendor as well in our case, Super Subcontractor. And as well as that, we also need to make sure that the subcontracted checkbox is enabled as well, that you should see. And then once that that is actually set up, Everything is pretty much ready to go. And you can, if you don't see it, by the way, in our case, you need to make sure that it's checked off. And over here, you can select the additional view. And there's also other options here. I just realized you couldn't see that. Sorry, Odoers. But as you can tell, everything is done. And what this basically does is it tells Odoo that the subcontractor will ship the item to the customer when we purchase it instead of us sending it. So once that that's all set up and we confirm that the delivery lead time is set as 12 days over here, you know, since we know this is how long it will take for the customer to receive the item. It's good to double check these things, but let's see what this looks like when a customer places an order. All right, we're going to go into the sales app and create a new quotation for Deco Addicts. And our product is that Lampo Doers. Beautiful. Once that this is all done, we confirm it. Now, if we check over here to the other info tab, you'll notice that we actually have an expected delivery date. We can confirm that it is 12 days from today. Now, since we're drop shipping this product, a RFQ for the lamp was automatically created when the sales order was confirmed. We'd actually go to it by selecting the purchase smart button up here in the top right. And we can check out a few bits of information. Now, this document tracks our purchase from our partner, Super Subcontractor. Now, the expected arrival date 
also corresponds to the 12-day customer lead time that we set up. And we can actually see that right over there and 100% on-time delivery because we're that excellent. Now, we can also see that the delivery is set to drop ship over here. And on top of that, the drop ship address is Deco Addict. And that's beautiful. Now what happens? Well, we, when we confirm this order, you'll notice one dropship document will be created, which we can view by clicking on the dropship smart button up here. And we're in there. Now let's head on over to the purchase app because I have something to show you here. So we're going to go in there. Beautiful. Now here we can actually see immediately that there's a new request for quotation has been created for the components. So we're going to select it from awesome vendor. Now, these components will be bought from Awesome Vendor and directly delivered to Super Subcontractor. Now, the expected arrival date, as you can see over here, is 524, which reflects the four days delivery lead time that we set up for our components. Now, after we confirm this order, you'll notice we'll see another dropship document that again was created. So we'll select it. And in this document, we see a smart button, which links us to the source purchase order over here. Now, this is the original PO we created for the finished lamp. It's all come full circle, low doers. So let's process this. Let's go to our inventory application in this case. I'm going to go in there. And here we see that we have two drop ships to process. In our case, we have the one for the subcontractor and the one that's just the regular one. Now, first, we'll process the component delivery that's due in four days. So we're gonna do the subcontractor first. In our case, what do we do? Let's say that the four days have passed and super subcontractor lets us know that we have received the components already. So I'll go ahead and I need to basically validate this one. So we give it a quick application there, boom, and we're done. Now for peace of mind, we can confirm that the components are registered as on hand in the location I've set up for subcontractors by going up to configuration and locations. Now we'll select physical locations and boom. When I click on the current stock, we can see that they are all there. Awesome. This means the subcontractor received the components and can manufacture our lamp for the customer. Remember that they usually take about six days to complete the lamp and to deliver to the customer. Even though we don't physically store these parts in our warehouse, it's important to keep track of where the parts are and how many so that we can keep track of any, you know, subcontracted orders and ensure that we have nothing but happy customers who receive their products on time. Now, finally, we need to process the second drop ship. We've received a notice from Super Subcontractor has shipped the lamp and that the customer has received it. So we're going to head back to our inventory overview and we're going to go over here to the drop ship to process. Now, we'll select it and what do we do, Odoris? Well, we're going to go in there and validate this. Apply. Boom, just like that. We've successfully sold sub manufactured and drop ship the lamp without ever touching it. Ah, oh, there you have it, Odoor. Saving time and space has never been easier. Now that you know how to drop ship, it's like you need to drop ship it like it's hot. So I hope you have a very hot day and remember to grab a snack.